Hey guys, in this video I want to show you some of the different ways in which you can utilize these little devices. It's a BirdDog NDI encoder and this model in particular is called the BirdDog Flex 4K in. Now there's already heaps of content out there on this model in particular, so in this video I really want to just show you how versatile these NDI encoders are and show you some of the different ways that you can use them. Now this is really the main use case for using these NDI encoders and it's to take a video signal coming out the HDMI or SDI output of a camera and converting that to video over IP so you can then transmit your video across your local network. Ultimately to then bring that video feed into some form of software based switcher that you can run your production on. Now we simply connect the camera's output to the encoder. So with this GH5S I'm just connecting it HDMI to the encoder and then get the encoder on the network with an ethernet cable and if you have a PoE plus network switch then you can actually also power the encoders but if not you can just use the DC power connection provided and then on any computer on the same network we'll be able to see the video feed coming from the encoder in that NDI capable software based switcher such as New Blue's Vividcast which is what I'm using because it's really good for graphics but of course even free applications such as OBS support NDI too. Now these encoders also have a built-in tally light system so when I make this encoder live in my switching software we get the red tally and of course when it's on preview it's green. So if you're building up a multicam production with various different cameras, brands and models this is one super easy way to also have an instant tally system that works across the board. And if you're thinking how good is the actual video encoding, well BirdDog use full NDI as opposed to NDI HX, so what you're actually transmitting is full bandwidth iframe video that's a variable bitrate that you can set. And you can actually go one step further, if you go up in the range you can even toggle between 8-bit and 10-bit video. So you really are getting a broadcast quality transmission. Now the Flex 4K family do only have HDMI connections, but you do have SDI options if you look further up in the range. You can use these encoders as a simple way of recording your camera's output or actually really any HDMI or SDI device that is outputting video. On a computer you just need to download the free NDI tools package from NewTek which has the video monitor application in it and from here we can do a local recording of our video feed on the computer and again in broadcast quality. So now you can ultimately turn any computer into a high quality recording device because pretty much all computers have the ability of joining a local network so no need to be worried about installing or specking out the right video capture card we can just use the computer as is and away we go. This one is more relevant now than ever considering how much video conferencing has skyrocketed. There are some video conferencing platforms that allow you to use NDI sources natively so this will work straight away but for those that don't you can easily trick them into seeing the NDI feed from an encoder as a virtual webcam by using the free virtual input application from NewTek. So now regardless of what camera you have, whether it's a DSLR camera, a hybrid mirrorless camera, heck even a cinema camera, as long as it can output video you can use it as the webcam in your chosen video conferencing platform. Now this one really ties in nicely with the first scenario of running a software based multicam production and that's because with the Flex 4K encoder we can cut down on the amount of cables that we need to run from our live camera area to our production switching area. And that's because on these units there is actually a DC barrel output connector that can provide 15 watts of power. So we can just use the one ethernet cable from our production area which has our PoE plus network switch to the encoder and then from the encoder which would be on the cameras we have our HDMI connection and the DC out to the camera for power which would likely be a dummy battery in the likes of this GH5S. We can even take this up a notch because these encoders also have a built-in comm system. You can plug in a headset in the encoder for your camera operator to wear and from anywhere else on the same network we can run the BirdDog comm software and talk to the operators through a computer. Again you're getting a lot straight out of the box with these encoders. For this you'll need a device that can decode NDI. Now the Flex 4K out is the dedicated decoder in the Flex lineup but pretty much all the other BirdDog units can do both encode or decode such as this BirdDog Mini. So they're even more flexible. 
Ultimately, from any device on the network, we can choose what NDI feed we want to send to the decoder. This could be from another encoder, this could be the output from a software-based switcher, or even just the video file playing on a computer. If you have loads of screens that you want to send content to, then this is a really easy and flexible way to do that. It's perfect for live AV and events. So I hope you found this video useful and have a better idea as to just how versatile these BirdDog NDI units are. If you have any questions, then do just put them in the comments and I will get back to you. And if you want to find out some more information, just head over to the Holden website. Thank you very much for watching.